Hello, hello. Welcome to yoga. I think we will get started. If there's no requests, we let's get started today in child's pose. So knees wide spread, arms extended forward, melting the chest down to the mat. Maybe place your forehead on the mat as well. You could rock it side to side, massaging it out. And I want you to start to focus on your breath. So inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose. If you're newer to yoga, um, there's such thing called a yogi breath. So it's your ujjayi breath. And it's the swirling of the air in the back of your throat. So it kind of sounds like an ocean-like sound. As you inhale and exhale, you'll swirl that air. Keep focusing on that breath. We're gonna make our way to a high plank position. So keep those wrists underneath the shoulders, tuck those toes underneath, draw that belly button up and in, and dome through the upper part of your back, your shoulders. Rounding there, maybe take some forward and back rocking motions here. Then plant those knees down right underneath the hips and extend those arms out to a puppy pose. Maybe taking your gaze forward. Maybe you bring your forehead to the mat. Really giving the shoulders a nice stretch here. And then swimming through to a sphinx position. Plant those forearms down, shoulders underneath, or elbows underneath the shoulders. Take the shoulders up and back, lifting through the chest. Draw that belly button up and in. Maybe take a couple head rolls here if that feels good. Eventually planting those hands. Lift the elbows up to a sphinx position. Just a gentle up dog. And then plant the hands down by the shoulders, pressing up to an up dog, back to a child pose, knees wide spread, arms forward. Think about lengthening here, sending the fingertips forward, tailbone back. Take a few moments to reconnect to the breath here. Eventually, making your way to a tabletop position. Feel free to find some movement here. Maybe you do a regular cat cow by dropping the belly, rounding through the back. Maybe you find some big hip swivels. But I want you to think about connecting your breath to your movement and listening to what your body would like today and how it would like to loosen. Take some time to freely move. Actually, tuck those toes. We're going to send our hips to a high up downward dog, sorry. Sending the hips tall to the sky, long flat back here. Maybe you paddle out the feet if that feels nice. When you're ready, shift forward to that high plank position once again. Rounding through the upper back. Draw that belly button up and in. Maybe take some rocking motions. 
and take a vinyasa down. So chaturanga, keep those elbows in towards the body, inhaling to an up dog, back to a downward dog. Lengthen here. We're gonna just take a moment to breathe. Take a few more breaths. On your next inhale, lift that right leg up, swinging it through to a low lunge position, dropping that back left knee. You can bring your hands to wherever you'd like, maybe the thigh, maybe you bring them up over the head or cactus them out behind you. Maybe you even interlace them behind your back. Do what feels good for you today. Think about, think about drawing that belly button up and in and tilting the tailbone forward and sending the hips forward and down. So tuck that tailbone underneath you. Giving that nice left hip flexor a good stretch. We're gonna plant the hands, send the hips back, flex through those right toes. And you point and flex the foot. If you'd like to implement some movement here. Eventually shifting forward, pick up that back left knee. We're gonna open up to the right, gazing up at that thumb. Extending that arm over your head. Eventually planting the hand down. We're gonna sit on that left hip now. So bringing our right leg over our left, stacking at the knees. So sitting on that left hip. Inhale, we're gonna lift really tall. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Sending oxygen throughout the body. Keeping that long, flat back. Take a few more moments here. And how lifting up, we're gonna take this right leg and hook it in our elbow, cradling it just like a baby. Extend that left leg out and rock this right leg back and forth, that cradled leg, opening up that hip. Then we're going to take that right hand, plant it to your side, and roll onto that hip. So we're going to massage out that piriformis muscle in that right hip. We're going to take some time here. So just keep rolling around, massaging out the tightness in your hip. We'll be here for quite a while. So feel free to just massage it out. Remember to keep breathing. Sending oxygen throughout the body. Keeping your breath steady.
take a few more moments here. Maybe even find a position and hold it. Letting the muscles release. Eventually coming back up. We're gonna plant that right foot back at the top, sending the left leg back, coming actually back to a high plank position. So send both of those legs back. Don't do the upper back, draw that belly button up and in. Shift forward and chaturanga down, exhaling, inhaling to an up dog. Take it back to child pose, knees widespread. Arms forward, take a few breaths here, relaxing. Melting that chest down. Awesome job. When you're ready, tuck those toes. Send the hips back downward, dog. Finding length here. Sending that tailbone all the way to the sky. On your next inhale, lift that left leg up. Bring it through, dropping that back right knee in a low lunge. Placing your hands again wherever you'd like. Thinking about tucking that tailbone underneath your body. Keeping our back safe. Getting a nice stretch in that right hip. Tuck that belly button up and in. And plant the hands, shoot the hips back. Flexing through that left foot. Send that tailbone to the back of the room. Maybe you point and flex that left foot. If that feels good to you. Remember to keep breathing. Eventually shifting forward, plant that right hand, tuck the back right toes, lift the knee and open up to the left, gazing up at that left thumb, little twist position. Awesome job, plant that hand down. We're gonna sit on that right hip now, stacking the left leg over the right. I'll face the camera. So left leg over the right, stacking at the knees. We're gonna inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold with that flat back. If this is really tight for you, totally fine to stay stacked up here. I am not very flexible in this position. <laughs> So I can't go forward very much, which is completely fine. I want you to think about your breath, sending oxygen to your hips or anywhere else that's tight. Eventually, you're going to make your way up, cradling that left leg now, sending the right leg out straight. Maybe take a few rocks side to side, loosening up that left hip, rocking that leg just like a baby. When you're ready, you can take that left hand, plant it to your side, roll onto that hip. And find those tight places. Maybe you keep that movement flowing. 
Maybe you find a tight spot and you just hold it. Find what works for you. Keep that breath steady. Take a few more moments here. And eventually take that leg up. Coming back to that high plank position, drawing the legs back, shift forward on the toes, chaturanga down, keeping those elbows in. Inhaling to an up dog, take it back to a child's pose. Knees wide spread, arms forward. And just reconnect to that breath. We're gonna walk the hands back to the seated position. Untuck the toes, coming to a Malasana squat. So wide-legged squatting position, hands to heart center. Bring those elbows to the inside of your knees and press outward. Maybe lift through the chest here. Really tall. Maybe you find some movement here with some knee dips ever feel good to you. Maybe you stay in the stillness. Closing your eyes, taking some deep breaths. When you're ready, we're gonna plant our hands and straighten our legs, coming to a forward fold position. Send that tailbone all the way up to the sky, letting the head hang heavy here. Maybe interlacing the arms, rocking side to side. Eventually planting hands, come back to that velocity squat. One more inhale, lifting the chest. And then when you're ready, plant in those hands, come to a seated position, lying all the way onto our backs. Bring the knees into the chest, taking a couple rocks side to side. Hugging that right knee and extend the left out. Create some circles here with that knee. Eventually drawing it across the body in a twist position, keeping that right shoulder locked to the ground. Take a few breaths. Coming back to center, release that leg down, bring the left knee into the chest, make some circles here. And 
eventually drawing that leg across the body. Keep that left shoulder planted to the ground. And just breathe. Eventually make your way back to center, hugging both those knees into your chest. Take a couple rocks side to side. And then take those legs up to a happy baby position, grabbing the outer edges of the feet. Once again, rocking side to side. Massaging up that lower back. Maybe you bring the soles of the feet together if that feels nicely. Maybe you extend one leg out at a time. Giving a slightly different stretch. And I want you to bring those knees back in your chest and just roll around, getting every inch of your back to touch the mat and get massaged out. Maybe you take the knees lower, getting the hips a little bit. Just making sure every part of your back feels loved. Feel free to do anything else you need to do to prepare for your final pose. If you're ready, feel free to extend your legs out, bringing the palms up to the sky, maybe tuck those shoulder blades underneath your back. And I want you to start to just relax your body, starting with your toes, committing to fully relaxing. Traveling up your leg to your calves, your thighs, to your hips, committing to fully relax, to your lower back and abdomen, to your upper back and chest, spreading to your arms and fingers, fully relaxing the body. And taking your face, relaxing all the muscles, committing to this final pose in Shavasana. I'll leave you here for about 10 minutes and take you out of it, but enjoy this final pose, just being mindful in this pose and relaxing fully, enjoying the moment. Shabbat
start to bring awareness back to your breath. Maybe taking bigger inhales and exhales. Maybe wiggling your fingers and toes, gradually making bigger movements. Maybe reaching your hands over your head, inhaling big, taking a big stretch. And rolling to your favorite side. Eventually making your way to a seated position. Awesome job today. I hope you have an amazing Monday. Namaste.